So we have a, a gentleman here that is coming to see us. He observed all these uh, varicose veins on the back of his leg in this calf pattern. These are fairly painful. There's actually a lot of pressure. If you put your finger on this when the gentleman's standing up, there's a lot of what's called venous hypertension to the superficial venous system. Normally all the blood that's circulating on the surface of the leg should be gently going off to a vein and then turning into a deep vein at some point of the leg. There is a superficial vein that starts on the side of the ankle, it's called the short saphenous. This vein, if I were to pull the skin away, you'd see it go up the leg and turn in and go into the deep vein here. There's a little one-way door supposed to let the blood go in, continue that deep vein and keep it from coming backwards. So I'm going to show you on our ultrasound when we see a patient like this, if you want to have a little look over here, basically what I'm doing is I'm looking through his skin and this round thing is the vein. I'll show you on a, sometimes when people see this presented this way, this is the superficial pipe that's bringing the blood up his leg and taking it into his deep system, which is right here. So he's got a large, uh, almost a dilated vein segment there. So I will show you, this is the vein where the blood is actually supposed to be going up, going into the deep system, but it's coming backwards. So when we look at a channel like this, we can listen to the blood flow. So basically I'm going to push a little bit of blood up that vein, then I'm gonna let go. So this is all the blood flow coming back and you can actually hear the valves in there creating a little bit of noise. But we're going to go down, this is the skin, and we're going to see where these branches are coming. So you'll see right here, there's the first branch that's popping off of this vein and coming out to the lateral side of this calf over here. It's giving you this big, almost looks like a, and then we have a second vein that pops off right here and is contributing to all these things. Now, the vein itself, the short saphenous vein, continues to reflux down the calf. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to close this vein. We're going to access it probably right about here because then it gets very small. So we're going to access this vein right here. And we're going to close it. Um, what you'll see when he comes back, this segment of the vein will be closed. We're going to take our laser up a little bit higher in this segment than we usually would, but we're going to try and close it from right about here. So there's a little curve right here. So I'm going to mark his leg. So just, just to show you a few things, these are deep veins. You can see the blood going through these. As he breathes, it makes the blood go up and down. This little white thing here is a little valve. You can see it flopping around a little bit. But I'm gonna show you where the vein is broken. So this is the vein we're going to treat. So I'm gonna do a little push. You'll see a bit of a little blue, but then you'll see the backflow in this vein. So I'll show you where the valve is broken. This is where that vein goes into the deep vein, a popliteal vein. You can actually almost see like a jet-like red thing that's shooting back there. That valve is pretty tight, so the blood is coming back, shooting up, and that's why it's creating this little ball in here because you can kind of see it doesn't look like, looks like it's spitting fire there back through that little hole. You can see it right here. Okay.